Hey everybody, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, where are we at, Ben? We're in the garage. And we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben. <laughs> Another different filming location. That's right. It, to be honest, we filmed uh, right over there, so Ben is uh, turning yeah. his house into a studio. Yeah, really. yeah, apparently. It's kind of cool. But... This is the garage bar. The normal garage filming is over there, but I was filming some mail calls right here, had the camera set yeah. up, and Works. then Greg showed up and decided we should drink some bourbon. We should uh, do a review. Yeah, so, so, anyway, so what's on the bar today? This is, bam, a sample bottle that was sent to us by uh, Patreon supporter Dr. Robert. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This is Legion Bourbon. And this is a Jim Beam product. Okay. And it is, apparently, it's a collaboration between... Jim Beam, a little small distillery. Yeah, you may have... people probably heard of it. May have heard of it. Yeah. Um, it's a collaboration between Fred No and then a master blender from Suntory, a Japanese company that partially owns Jim Beam or whatever. Right. yep. And from what I understand, what it is, is they take bourbon and then they finish it in a couple of different kinds of wine casks. Wow. And then the chief blender from Suntory blends them wow. to create Legion. A unique blend of blends. Yep, exactly. So yeah. I've never had this before. Never And I'm looking forward to it because I've wanted to for a while and I mentioned in a bourbon hunting video not that long ago, saw it on the shelf and I asked you know people to put in the sure. comments if it's any good and then Dr. Robert sent us some. So again, thank you. Mm. Smells nice. I mean, it smells like a nice finished bourbon. Nice solid bourbon. Um, nothing, nothing jumps out as like way crazy. Like I, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be like you know so off profile that it's right. hard to identify. But yeah, it's got. I mean, you definitely get the wine influence. A little bit, but I'm, I'm mostly getting like peanut shell type influence at this point. Now I know peanut I know. and caramel. Yeah, and maybe a little grapey. Hmm. That's yeah. the one thing I'm not seeing yet is the grape. But really. I don't know. Well, let's see if it's on the palate. Let us. Cheers. Do. Interesting. One of the things that sometimes I get on a finished whiskey mm -hmm. is that the influence from the extra barrel almost gives it a dusty, mm -hmm. old kind of vibe. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not just, it doesn't just impart like a wine influence. Mm -hmm. That extra barreling kind of makes it, sometimes it comes across as musty or youthful even. This sure. is not. It's not, yeah, it's um, not young. But it, that's actually really nice. So I, I am gonna call this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah? Because I'm getting legitimate peanut butter type notes and they're subtle, it's not over the top, but it's not like flavor. But a little bit of Jim Beam type peanut shell. Yep. And then a very mellow, but very nice wine finish that's kind of grapey, mm -hmm. conquered grape-ish almost. Yeah, it definitely has, um, but this is really nice. I what, do we know proof or anything? It's ninety four proof. Runs okay. about thirty five bucks a bottle. It's got a nice um, wood spice type burn. Mm -hmm. It's subtle, but uh, honestly, I would have guessed uh, above a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, um, I think this is actually a good one for for somebody just kind of getting into finished bourbons. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a fan of finished bourbons in general, for thirty five bucks and Pretty regularly oh, wow. available. Bucks? Yeah. Wow. I mean, this is not bad at all. I'm pretty impressed with that, actually. It's yeah. a nice, it's bourbon. It tastes like bourbon. However, it is leaning a little bit into a couple areas that maybe your, your normal bourbon doesn't go. And so, mm -hmm. as a, like an everyday drinker, this would be awesome. Yeah, it's not, like you said, it's not off the rails, off profile, yep. but it's just unique enough that exactly. it brings something kind of different. And yeah, I think that's worth a buy at 35 bucks. Yeah, if like you it. don't like finished bourbons, this is probably not gonna be for well, you, because you can definitely tell it's finished. Yeah, I would agree. Um, but we tend to, to like finished I, bourbons just fine. Yeah. I mean, some people are adamantly against them. Really? Yeah, I may hear sometimes that people are just huh. not, I don't know, maybe it's a bourbon well, purist so thing I, or something. I've said before on the channel that sometimes finished People either finish like flavored coffee or flavored bourbon or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is you're taking a bad bourbon and you're trying to fix it or hide the bad. And we've element. definitely had a couple of those. Yeah, but I mean, Beam knows what they're doing making bourbon. Yep. You know, and, and this is just kind of like a really nice bourbon and then they a little bit of finishing. Yeah, yeah, so. for sure. So yeah, I'm I'm into that. I'm definitely gonna enjoy the the rest of the sample. I may pick a bottle of that up at yeah, some point. I kind of like it. I would put that on the list. But yeah, I mean, if you like finished bourbons, I would definitely give this one a shot, especially at 35 bucks. I mean, yeah, that's, totally not, agree. that's not bad. When you got Angel's Envy at like 50, you know, which is decent, but it's a little 
too low on the proof. I'm, I'm gonna choose not to respond to him. My opinion, Angel's Envy doesn't seem to match up with the rest of the internet, so I'll just leave it alone. Um, I don't think the price to quality ratio is in their favor. I don't either. I think I don't yeah. think you're in disagreement. Oh. I think that's most people's feeling. Oh, really? Feeling. Oh, okay. Yeah. I felt like I was an outlier, but okay. But this one at 35 bucks yeah. and a higher proof, because we right. said with the Angel's Envy, we'd love to see the, yeah. the finished bourbon at a higher proof. This kind of scratches that itch a little bit, I think so. I think. so yeah. Yeah, well, thank you, Dr. Robert, for the sample. This thank has you been so much. Legion Bourbon on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.